you're a small business owner and you're not already building an email list, this video is going to change your mind. In this video, I'm walking through exactly why an email list is so valuable to your business and how to actually start building one and start generating leads. Hi guys, it's Blair Stakey. I run a web design studio and I teach women how to grow thriving online businesses. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to start your actual mailing list or also known as like an email list and how to actually start generating leads for it. If you're not doing this, or maybe you already have a list, but you just have not been prioritizing it. My goal is that by the end of this, you realize just how valuable an email list is for your business. The first thing I want to talk about is why do we need an email list? Because the reality is a lot of you are probably spending a ton of time on places like Instagram or TikTok or other social media platforms because those are the shiny objects right now. And I totally get that. But an email list is absolutely essential to your business. And I want to talk about a few reasons why. So the first one is it gives you a pre-qualified audience who has sat there and said, yes, I am into this. Please sign me up for it. They are already warmed up to you and it makes selling so much easier. Number two, you actually own this list. Unlike social media, we don't own those followers. So if Instagram for some reason was to shut its doors tomorrow, all of your followers would be lost. You would have no way to contact the people that mean the most for your business. So owning your list is essential. Number three, this really helps build trust. I love social media for getting people in the door, making those initial connections, but email is where the real connection happens. You're landing in their inbox and people feel this really you know, unique, intimate feel that they don't get on social media. And the reality is a lot more people are checking their inboxes more frequently than they are Instagram. Number four, it can actually increase your website views. So if you're creating content like this, like a video, or maybe it's a blog post, and then in your weekly newsletter, you're sending your subscribers back to your email list to go read those pieces of content, you're gonna be driving more views to your site and getting people more eyes on your products and services. And lastly, an email list majorly can grow your revenue. So here's an, an insane stat, in my opinion. The ROI for an email newsletter is 3,800% versus just 28% on social media. It is mind blowing. And that stat right there should be enough to make you think, I need to start building my list. Okay, so step one is picking a platform. And maybe this is something that's actually held you back in the past because there's so many different email platforms out there that it can feel overwhelming. So I'm gonna narrow it down for you between Flowdesk and ConvertKit. These are my two platforms of choice. I personally have used both and I currently am using Flowdesk. Um, Flowdesk is newer to the game. It's not maybe quite as powerful as ConvertKit, but some of those more powerful tools in ConvertKit, I just found that I was never using. So what I love about Flowdesk is it's incredibly easy to use and it's very, very aesthetically pleasing. So as a web designer, um, if you are a creative or someone who is um, into aesthetics and likes things to look really nice, you are going to love Flowdesk. It makes creating forms super, super easy. Everything about it is just wonderful. So I highly recommend Flowdesk and I'm going to drop a link here below to get 50% off your subscription. The next thing you want to do is to create a lead magnet to incentivize people to actually subscribe to your list. So this can be something like a discount. Um, I'm sure you've logged on to retail shops before and they're offering you 10 or 15% off your first order if you sign up with your email address. This can also be something super simple like a PDF, a guidebook, and a checklist, something like that that's really easy for you to make but actually provides a lot of value for your user. Um, when they sign up, they get that PDF in their inbox. And last, another one that I really like is a free training or a webinar, um, something like you could create a video like this and have people actually sign up to get access to the video. It's just a great way to incentivize people to actually get on your list because nobody really wants to hand out their email for free these days. Within Flowdesk, you can set up what's called a workflow. In other platforms, this might be called an automation or something similar to that. But this just allows you to set it up so that when someone signs up for that email, that freebie, that discount, that free training, whatever it is you've decided to send people, gets automatically sent to them no matter when they sign up. So love a good automation because anything I can take off my plate is the best. Okay, our third step here is to create forms, okay? This is the way that people actually sign up for your site. And with Flowdesk, there's three different types. There's inline forms, pop-up forms, and landing pages. And there's not one that's necessarily better than the other. I actually use all three, and just depending on where I'm using them, I will utilize different ones. So um, within blog posts, I often use inline forms. If you check out the blog post that this is linked to, you will see that within that blog post, there's actually a little section that shows my inline form. 
pop-ups are a great thing to have on any specific page. Maybe you have it on your home page, or maybe you have something special, some deal happening or a promotion, or you're working on a launch. That's a great time to use a pop-up. And then for landing pages, I love these for social media because I hate, hate, hate when someone says, go sign up for my list. And then I have to go to their website and scroll through the website and try to find where to actually sign up. A landing page makes it super, super easy, straightforward. All they have to do is click on the link and the landing page is there with one thing for them to do. And that's to sign up for your email list. Again, in Flowdesk, making these is a breeze. I have an example in the blog post that this link is tied to. And, um, you can see just how easy they are to make, how beautiful you can utilize the cool fonts, your brand colors, and just really make them really, really unique. The final step of your email list setup is actually emailing people, right? And this is the part I see a lot of people getting really hung up on. They're like, okay, I've got the list. I've got the sign up forms. I've got the freebie. There's people on my list, but what the heck do I send them? <laughs> Okay, and this is when content can come in really handy, whether that's content on a blog or YouTube, a podcast, on Instagram, on TikTok, whatever platform you're creating marketing content and um, valuable content for your audience, you can use that content and repurpose it in your email newsletter because the reality is people are not seeing everything that we're putting out. So um, you can use that content in my personal emails. I typically like to write some sort of note or a life lesson or a story. Um, just some sort of personal touch to it. And then I include links to my latest blog posts, videos, and Instagrams as well. One of the last questions I get asked a lot is, okay, when do I actually send these emails? So the workflow, that freebie that you created, that's going to be sent automatically. You don't have to worry about that. But any other emails that you're just writing and sending, you're going to actually have to schedule those. So when is the best time to send? There's lots of information on the internet that um, all points to different days and specific times. I would say don't get too worked up about it. In general, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays tend to be the best days for open rates. So start with one of those if you're not sure what you wanna do and test out some different times and play with it over a few weeks and see what ends up working best for you. Okay guys, that's it. I hope that was super helpful and has gotten you to the point where you realize just how important email list is for your business and has inspired you to get started on yours today. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. And also please check out the blog post that I've linked below. It has tons of information. I go in a lot more in depth on some of these things and you can connect with me there as well. Lastly, please go ahead and follow my channel as I will be posting videos regularly.